The, so this is a neighborhood where nothing too bad ever happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, my best comment I ever got was on a book in that series. One woman says she laughed so hard she fell off her couch. Uh-huh. And I still think it's the best thing anybody said because it was meant to be humorous. Uh-huh. And uh, you also wrote a, a nonfiction about Lexington and me. I mean, you're a, right. life, you're a lifelong resident. Of, of I Lexington. was born there and they haven't run me out of town yet, so okay. I'm still there. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it, uh, I say I wanted to write it when I could still remember uh-huh. all of these things. And I have had so many compliments uh, from Kentuckians primarily, mm-hmm. not always ones that are still living here, about how much they enjoyed that book. And uh, and so and it brings back memories for them. I even had uh, a mutual friend of ours uh, uh told me, he said, I never lived in Lexington, but he said, but I really enjoyed reading the book. And even people who had different experiences growing up, mm-hmm. uh, most of it was devoted to the 50s and 60s and my first 21 years. And But it does carry through to a little bit on how I became an author. But it reminds them of what they did, whether it was similar or different than I did during the t- same time period. Mm-hmm. Now, all your books have a Lexington. Not all of them. Okay. Uh, a, a couple. We just got back from a nine-day vacation in Gatlinburg. You've done Gatlinburg two, too, two are you? set down there. Uh-huh. Some are set in fictitious towns. Uh-huh. My latest, uh, the one I had last year, Murder at the Book Fair, uh, was set in Frankfurt primarily, mm-hmm. and uh, and that was extremely popular here last year. Yeah, I think it was. It, was it the number one? It was fiction? the number one selling fiction book last year. Okay. Uh, and uh, so by being book fair, by being set in Frankfurt primarily, you know, then that mm-hmm. kind of stands to reason. This book mm-hmm. is set in Lexington, uh-huh. but that one, that one is was set in Frankfurt and and. Even today, it's still selling quite well. well let me ask you: the uh, is this going to be your sixth or seventh book uh, fair? It'd be my ninth. Your ninth. Ninth in a row. I mean, huh? did you ever dream that nine years ago, when you came here the first time, that nine years later you'd have the number one fiction? Uh, I, mean, I guess we can always I hope, that, hope for that, but I didn't think there was any possibility of that uh-huh. happening. And uh, you know, of course, I stood no chance when Sue Grafton and David Baldacci and some of them were here, right. although I really it, enjoyed them. And, and, uh, but it, it, I figured that, uh, yeah, that was, that's my one, one time. I, I always do well here because I, the Frankfurt people support this so well, mm-hmm. and they keep coming back uh, for several of us. They mm-hmm. come back each year to get new books, so I expect to do well. Uh, but uh, I, I figured that that was my one chance I had of, of having the top fiction book. Well, maybe uh, Abigail will top you this year. I think, well, oh, we I've already, already? <laughs> I have already made that prediction that oh, okay. she will have the number one selling fiction book this year. And Karen and will have number one uh, a non-fiction. non-fiction. There you go. Yeah. And, and I have no problem with that because uh, Abigail has been... Uh, she's really helped me in promotion uh-huh. of things that I didn't know, mm-hmm. and we've become friends over the last few years, and uh, so I, I appreciate that. And and uh, it's I already know she does yeah. quite well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate uh, the three of you being here. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in, on November the fourteenth, and we'll see you on that day. And uh, bring bring your fans with you as well. Absolutely. Okay. Again, uh, thank you for being with us today on the, uh, this uh, inaugural program of the uh, Kentucky Book Fair 2015. Remember, November 14th, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the Frankfurt Convention Center. And for all details, kybookfair.blogspot.com or on Facebook. We'll see you next week.